James Brokenshire, the British Secretary of State, will today move to introduce a budget to finance public services here. This is an acknowledgement by the British Government that an agreement hasn't been possible. The reason for this is a DUP opposition to a rights-based society. While some progress was made, a denial of rights would not be tolerated in Dublin or in London and should not be tolerated here. We met with the DUP this morning and we told them that. Since March of this year, Sinn Féin has been seeking an agreement on the implementation of outstanding commitments as a basis for restoring public trust and confidence in the institutions. We were flexible, we were willing to stretch ourselves to achieve a breakthrough and we were right to do so. The DUP's resistance to the implementation of previous agreements and particularly rights that are available elsewhere in these islands means that there's not a locally elected executive to take decisions. The British Government has been complicit in this, backing the DUP's refusal to honour the commitments made and blocking the delivery of equality. Theresa May has prioritised her own electoral survival via the D Tory DUP pact over the interests of all the people here in the North. This is compounded by the DUP's refusal to accept the vote in the North to reject Bre Brexit. The DUP are committed to the North being dragged out of the EU against the will of the people and the best interests of the people here. Last Friday we told the British Prime Minister Theresa May that direct rule was not an option. In the absence of the Assembly and the Executive, the choice for both governments is between protection of the Good Friday Agreement or its abandonment. The issues aren't going away. It's now the responsibility of the two governments to look to the provisions of the Good Friday Agreement for a British-Irish Intergovernmental Conference to meet as soon as possible. We have sought urgent meetings with both the Taoiseach and the British Prime Minister. The way forward now is for the two governments to fulfil their responsibilities as co-guarantors of the Good Friday Agreement and St Andrews Agreements to honour outstanding commitments and to deliver rights for everyone that are enjoyed by everyone else elsewhere in these islands. This in itself would pave the way for the executive to be restored. What we've seen throughout the course of this year has been a British government that's been pandering to the DUP, that has supported them in their blocking of equality, that has supported them in terms of the denial of rights that are available to their own constituents in London. Isn't it such a shame that you can get married in London, but you can't get married here? Isn't it such a shame that you can get married in Dublin, but you can't get married here in terms of same-sex marriage? Isn't it such a shame that you can have your language rights in other parts of these islands and you can't have them here. These are very reasonable requests and this is what's needed in order to establish these institutions again and we're fully committed to doing so. Direct rule is not an option and I've made that point very clearly to uh, Theresa May. I've also made that point and, I, and I'm glad to see that the Irish government have actually been very strong on the issue of direct rule. Um, whenever St Andrew's agreement was in 2007, clearly there was a joint statement at that time by, by both the British uh, Prime Minister and the Taoiseach that said that there'd need to be a move for uh, joint British-Irish partnership arrangements. Um, clearly there's a mechanism within the Good Friday Agreement in the Intergovernmental Conference that would allow for uh, work to be done across British-Irish uh, governments, so that, that's what we're asking for. Sinn Féin, Gwananis Carta Agus Eintas Naharan, Equality, Rights and Irish Unity.